Tonight, News 19 hosted an intense hour-long debate between Dale Strong and Casey Wardinsky. They are competing for the Republican nomination for Alabama's 5th U.S. Congressional District. Uh, Casey Wardinsky and Dale Strong competing in that debate last night. They touched on a number of politically charged subjects like Roe versus Wade and gun control. And some of their responses got a little bit heated last night. Uh, we're going to keep you posted on some of that. But uh, News 19's Dallas Parker joins us in the studio with a recap of what's gone down between the two candidates. That's right. The majority of the hour long debate consisted of each candidate sharing their views about different political topics, but things also got personal last night. There were several times things grew a bit ugly. This pinnacle uh, uh, contract uh, where he was getting personal sexual gratification uh, from what that contract. My campaign ran no attacks until this fella started and you heard it tonight. He accused me of taking sexual favors from somebody to do work. You know, that's a scumbag in my book. Now that's just a small snippet of some of the exchanges between Wardinsky and Strong. Of course, it does not encompass the entire night. The allegations being tossed around last night were largely unrelated to News 19's questions, but each candidate was also allowed to respond to those direct character attacks. Today, I asked both of the candidates if they had any regrets about last night. Here's what they had to say. It's always unfortunate when these campaigns become negative. Over the final week, I'm going to focus on talking about my record values and plans to fight for Alabama families in Congress. That was Dale Strong. Then here's um, Casey Warnensky's campaign last night. Casey Warnensky participated in a debate with his opponent. WHT did a fine job moderating and delivering this debate. Next Tuesday, the issue will be in the hands of the voters. As they should, voters will surely incorporate what they learn from the debate when making their choice for the next congressman from Alabama District 5. Now, if you missed that entire debate, you can find the full thing on our website, whnt.com. Great.